Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can disable updates from Sony there so we don't have to worry about getting any system updates by accident. Uh, there's three things we can do, and uh, I'm going to jump right into it and show you what we can do. So, first off, what we're going to do is uh, I'll show you I do not have debug settings. Uh, we'll go to system, automatic downloads. So, your system software is there. I recommend just unchecking everything there you don't need anything there um, if by chance you are updating a game that's on disk well then you could uh, you could un or leave this checked or whatever but for the most part you shouldn't need any of this here checked so let's do that and uncheck that and uh, we'll jump up to our network We'll go ahead and enable our network, and we're going to go to Setup Network. We'll use Wi-Fi, and we're going to go down to Custom. Now, the reason why we're going to Custom is because we want to set our DNS servers. So we're going to go here, and then we'll put in our password. Now, I know you guys are itching to get on my Wi-Fi, but uh, you have to find me first, I guess. Um, so there we go. Put it done there. And then uh, let me just uh, bring up my bring up these DNS servers here. We'll hit OK on there. And I'll say please wait. You may get some messages popping down that uh, things are starting to download, but uh, don't worry. We will uh, do this as quick as possible. So IP address go to automatic. Uh, that there do not specify a DNS is what we want to get into. So we'll go primary. So our primary DNS will be 165. Two two seven dot eight three dot one four five. Okay, and one of these is to redirect. I believe one of them is to redirect the the PlayStation Store, and the other one is to uh, block all Sony servers. I think that there's what it is. It's uh, I think it's uh, we'll get into it. Uh, I'll show you. I forget his name. I don't use the host. Uh, one nine two two four one two two one seven nine two two one dot seven nine. Okay, and we'll just confirm them. One six five two two seven eight three one four five one nine two two four one two two one. Seven nine. So we're good to go there. We'll just hit next. Uh, we'll go auto there and then do not. And we we'll, can go ahead and hit test if you wish just to see. And when it comes down to Sony, it should say failed. Yeah. So we're good to go there. So Sony servers are blocked. Another way you can check is open up your web browser. It should automatically load PlayStation Store up the top here. Um, if you don't have uh, your previous history there. But if we go to bookmarks, you can see we'll go down to PlayStation, the official website, and it should redirect. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. There we go. And you see at the top, redirect. Al Azif. Is, is that how you pronounce it? I believe so. Al Azif. Al Al um, this is another host. I don't really use it that much. Maybe one, uh, one of these days we'll get into it and we'll give it a go. But uh, once you got that there, you know you're good to go. Okay, so that there's one thing we can do. So let's go into our, or that's actually two things because we disabled the updates, we blocked the Sony servers, and we'll do the third one. We'll just close out here. It requires a jailbreak. Um, most hosts have it. Um, so you should be able to use whichever host you want. I know in the previous video we used. Uh, what did we use? Uh, we used uh, this one here, and it worked fine. So let's go ahead and use it again, and hopefully it will work fantastic. So we'll go with the 7.55. We'll give it a few moments here to install the cache.
Okay, it's taking a little bit of his time here, but shouldn't be that long. It's a great time to uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Uh, it really helps out the channel, and uh, I'm checking daily, and I, I see the the uh, subscriptions going up. Everybody's joining in and subscribing and liking the videos. It's really good. Uh, really helps out the channel. It makes me want to make more videos for you guys to keep you guys updated. So there we go. Our cache is installed. So we can go ahead and turn off the internet and reopen the web browser. So we'll go over to settings network and we can turn off the internet and we'll relaunch our web browser now I think in a previous video it took us like three times so we shouldn't get too many memory errors okay so there's two There's three. Okay. So what I did is I hit X too quick. I, I find that um, maybe if you're on the Slim or the Pro, it, it, it might be a little quicker. But with this original PS4, one of the first ones, it doesn't load. So what I do is I just go over and hit refresh. It's not a big deal. It's just sometimes I just hit the X as soon as I see that message come up because I know what it is. Okay, so that's four now, is it? Four or five? We should get in here pretty quick. Like it should usually doesn't take that that much. Okay, we'll give it a few more tries here, but uh It usually does not take this long, so. Okay, it's it's strange that it's taken so long. Usually, it clicks in right away, and there's no uh, there's no issue. It's the other part that, that usually takes a while. It's either going to fail or crash your system. But usually this here part, you usually get right in. Okay, a couple more tries and then uh, I'll start the video over and we'll definitely uh, go at it again. There we go. Look at that. Just when I uh, said I was going to stop. Okay, and now that we're in, we're just going to go to our latest jailbreak three point or three. Sir, sorry, June third, two thousand twenty-one. Go ahead and click that. running can take up to 20 seconds but usually not that long and it's completed so we're good to go we'll go over and hit uh, gold hand 1.1 launching the payload and we're good to go okay so what you want to do is hit disable updates um, I already have bind disabled so I don't know if it'll actually do anything if uh, if I do hit it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, Enable Updates. And that w I believe what it does is it, it puts a file in there. So when it does connect to the Sony server and tries to download, it's already there. So it, it just doesn't download. So basically, once you do your jailbreak, you would just come in and you would hit Disable Updates. And then 
that's basically it. Uh, there are your three things that will uh, prevent anything from getting update. Nothing's guaranteed. Um, DNS servers sometimes go down. And if they go down, you might have troubles connecting to the internet, so you might have to remove them. Um, unchecking things, it's Sony. Uh, I, you pop in a disk, maybe it'll take the update, right? There's so many different things. This here, I think, is the the best thing to do right here disable updates where it puts the file in there so if it, another file wants to come it can't come because it doesn't it doesn't allow it I don't think it overwrites it so it just skips it but yeah that's basically all the steps I use to uh, disable my updates if you guys like the video please like and uh, if you want to see more please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video